This is going to be an interesting build video, for I got two people who recommended me the exact same guns and overclocks for this build, but with different gear mods. So I decided to flip a coin and combine both builds together. User UD5JZ's primary build and Glitter Bay's secondary build. Now with that out of the way, the overclocks we'll be using, if you didn't just pause the video to read the builds, were aggressive venting and shape shells. What aggressive venting does is whenever your drac is about to overheat or overheats, will trigger an explosion that causes fear and sets any bugs ablaze near you when the explosion was set off. And shape shells reduces your base spread, allowing you to snipe back terras out of the sky. And it can also be really powerful against the bigger boys with the right build. At the cost of losing out on some ammo, will both builds pair well against the bugs? Well, you'll see. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Boobity doo. Oh yeah, we got a new dragon. We got a new dragon head gear, and I want it. I need it. Alrighty. Oh. Better die. You've been getting away from me. You die. Yeah, that's right. Finally got a hoarder, Lloyd. I'm really excited to get the <laughs> the dragon helmet. It's gonna be so good. By far one of the most doofiest headgears they've added into the game. And it is modded. <laughs> I wanna wear it on Scout, but I, I can't give up the nerd fit. Scout's a nerd. All scouts are nerds. <laughs> I say as I'm playing as Scout. Well, this build is definitely going to be really interesting. Full damage boomstick. And full AoE. Recharge speed recovery. Where do I... What? Where do I mine? Huh? I wonder if that's also another idea I could start doing too. Is just combining people's builds together. That would be really fun to do. I was thinking, why don't I have people recommend any guns together because there is the Carl class mod. Oh, I could have just done that. There's the Carl class mod that I could do, which allows me to use any weapons. Actually, I have a different idea for that. Never mind. Scratch that. Future me. Edit this out. Okay. I hear a shrimp. <laughs> that is so much fun, being able to one-shot them. Oh, no you don't. Stop. Shut up. Stop that. <laughs> Thank you, Lloyd. What a doofy little guy. Alrighty. Oh, okay. I kept hearing a cave leech, but... It wasn't, it wasn't near me. Nope. Shut up. <laughs> I just wrecked that meatball. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Alrighty. Stop. Shut up. Oh. Oh. All right. Full, full damage shape shells is insane. Holy shit. But it definitely has ran through my ammo. <laughs> this build is really OP. Aggressive. <laughs> Aggressive venting is just like the faster version of what Lightstorm is with the one gear mod. Steve. Oh, I don't have Steve. Wait, I do have Steve. What what am I talking about? 
There you go. <laughs> oh. No. Oh, I'm out of ammo. N Wait, I had to pause at all this nitro that I got. <laughs> I wonder if there is someone who actually programmed Molly. I wonder if they've released their name yet. Was it Jacob? Was it you, Jacob? Did you program Molly? Program her to be this way. Apparently there's a mod that I can install that someone said that will allow me to just place Molly in a, in a spot. Ooh. I wonder what he'll mission control will say. No, Molly? Stay. I gotta get that mod. I gotta get the, 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 the Molly stay mod. Aw, oh, it's the same one as last year. Boo. Yeah. So this this build is is OP, but it does lack ammo. Which I guess that's that's what Scout's biggest problem is, is he, he does a lot of damage and he's really good in a lot of scenarios, but he just he lacks ammo. And I guess that's the whole point behind his trade-off. He is not allowed to have fun. Swarm? Question mark? Yep. Swarm. We got this, Steve. I wonder how the Beastmaster tracker mod has been doing. I haven't checked on it in a while, but last time I saw it, it had like 6,000 downloads. It's really, really cool. No. Wait. Missed. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Oh my lord. It just half health, the Praetorian. Oh. Yeah, I'll help you out, Steve. Yeah, yeah. No! I heard that Macteo shoot shot off. Damn it, that Mactera is the one that killed my Steve. Shape Shells has just gotten so much better now that they have updated the the spread for it. I do think that the Drac, though it has really fun overclocks for it, I feel like the base damage should be upped a little bit, or just the base ammo, so you can have a little bit more ammo. That would be really nice. That one's all the way up there. Nice. Oh my god, we're rich! Here, Lloyd, you go get that. I'll get this. You gotta get the important cargo. No. Stop. Molly. Molly, stay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shape Shells has just turned into the I deny you the right <laughs> for Macteras. <laughs> Was that really the only bug for that storm? Okay, well, I'm out of here. Where are you? There they are. <laughs> the fear on this thing is insane. All right, cool. I gotta use up this nitra. It stay right. Yeah. <laughs> uh poor guy. Come on. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember for a time there were, when you did this glitch to clip into it, because if you heard closely there, uh, Scout said the the line if you were downed and your teammates were inside the drop pod. He said, this is it, lads. So it would make you fail the mission, even though you, you actually won the mission. Unless it's still a part of it, let me see. Hmm, I can't tell. I, I think it is because before you would have the red lights and your, your character would still be normal. So it, it was like you failed the mission in quotations, but you didn't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, this was a good build.